Good morning, folks. We've got terrestrial disasters to cover, a plasma filament study, micronova at a pulsar, and some cosmology notes to close. We're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com to find the coronal hole system turning through center disk. Still no sunspots producing, and we'll be awaiting the solar wind from that coronal hole over the weekend. And as we await that stream, the current solar wind telemetry is calming completely. Geomagnetic conditions are quiet too. Top earthquake of the last day struck shallow in Iran. This region takes much more damage per magnitude than other areas of the world, leaving five pointers like this one to be deadly and destructive. Up next, we're going to England, where a river burst its banks in Sheffield after being unable to handle the rainfall. The flash flooding was spread around to numerous surrounding regions, even trapping some people in a mall, which is better than being trapped on the side of an active volcano. This is one of the most active in Mexico, Popo, with another small ash eruption. Let's move on to the science news, and we're starting with the ESA and their new hope for the future of fuel. Powdered metals burn, shockingly well, and do so in a different way than would, say, a piece of paper. They plan to launch a rocket 260 kilometers up and let it fall right back down, which will take six minutes. Providing a zero-G lab for testing of this dry metal powder fuel for space systems and other applications. All that to play pyro in zero-G. So folks, when the sunspots come back, we will be watching for flares and CMEs, but we will also need to be watching the plasma filaments for the same reason. They can erupt. And when they do so, they often do not produce a solar flare before erupting, and can be as tremendous as even the greatest CMEs from solar flares. This new work is diving into the magnetic fields and plasma dynamics that differentiate stable, calm filaments with those that lift up and explode. These filamentary structures are some of the most illuminated flux currents we will ever see, and there is no doubt that about a third of geomagnetic activity the last cycle came from filament eruptions. FYI, solar flares do nudge out coronal holes for a lion's share of the remaining two-thirds. By the way, there is no need to strain your eyes over coronal streamers and random jets on Soho. When there is a real CME, you'll know it. It is not a subtle thing. Let's now go on to a serious stellar blast. Folks, the latest deep examination of a pulsar type 1 x-ray burst reveals that they are actually micronova events, likely smaller in some ways than if our sun were to do it. We've long known that in these x-ray brightening events, it takes over the entire surface of the star. It's not like a sunspot or filament erupting. Essentially, this is the same mechanism we've been investigating in this realm for a while. Too much material accumulates in the atmosphere of a star, causing a runaway process that results in the thermonuclear release of the outer shell in a miniature nova event, along with a tremendous stellar flare of x-rays. They saw two components here, one being the material expansion and release, the other likely being the result of the plasma turbulence of those events. Alas, this is way, way smaller than we'd envisioned a potential solar micronova to be, and if all type 1 pulsar x-ray bursts are like this, then micronova are the most common kind of nova. Last but not least, Illustris has put out their latest cosmological simulation. It is one of the more beautiful in-sequence animations they have done, 20 billion particles modeled, a full year using 16 cores at a supercomputer, and this is what they got. So what's the problem? They are modeling mostly dark matter, as that dominates the material in their models, and not only does it likely not exist at all, but you cannot model it when you have no idea what its size is, or its interaction profile with normal matter. It's literally just their imagination running wild on a supercomputer for a year. Folks, among the movies listed below, on our channel page, and on the homepage of suspiciousobservers.org, the plasma cosmology video has the strongest evidence, and luckily it's prerequisite for the other two to matter. Let's all get caught up so we can charge forward together. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.05 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.